Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your upper body bar inspired strength workout. What you need today, a light pair of dumbbells. I'm recommending anywhere from three to five pounds. And you will also need a mat. For resistance reference, I am using a pair of three pound dumbbells today, but just know that you and I are different. So you may need to go heavier than me to feel challenged and or you may need to drop it down to something lighter in order to keep good form. Find a resistance selection that feels challenging for you today. Here's today's format. We have triceps. So we will perform three exercises at a time. It goes 60 seconds for the first exercise, 45 for the second, and 30 for that final third exercise. Most of these triceps today are unilateral. So that means one side of the body. So the transition between the first and second tricep will always be very, very short. We just flip it around and match it on the other side. Now, after we match it on the other side, we do get a longer recovery, about 30 seconds before taking it into a brand new tricep. Now on the triceps that aren't unilateral. We're, we still get that very short transition time, but we will switch up the exercise selection. Just listen for my cues. There will be demos either in the upper corner of your screen or right in front of you. We are moving to approximately 130 beats per minute today. I am dubbing music over top of what I am listening to. So at times the beat may be a little off. Please forgive me on that end. That's the editor. But enough of me talking, y'all. Y'all know what this is. This is all about strength. There is no jumping. We don't really care about heart rate. It's all about challenging our muscles and strengthening long-term. Having muscles has a lot of benefits. They also look very, very pretty in my opinion. So go ahead, meet me on your mat in a sideline position and let's get going. We begin your workout today by warming up the shoulder. So grab one dumbbell in the left hand. So I'll be cueing left side of the body first, and then we'll be matching it on the right for our unilateral triceps. If you know your right side is your weaker side, I want you to perform your weaker side first, whichever side that is, and then match it on your stronger side. So we start with external shoulder rotations. We add a quarter rep at the top and then bring it down with control. Try to keep your elbow glued to your hip bone or somewhere around there, all right? This begins our workout in three, two, one, let's go. It's up, pulse, down for two. Up, pulse, down for two. Everyone's range of motion will be different. So maybe you're only taking it right here and that's fine. What we don't want is to overcompensate and let that rib cage flare. So keep that rib down ribs down. Next up, we have a modified plank reach through. And three, two, and one. Extend that top leg, bottom knee stays down. We reach it under, then use the rear delt to bring it up. So we take it down for two, up for two, down for two, up for two. Try to keep that elbow from bending. So it has a slight bend throughout, but we're not hinging it anymore at the top. So I want you to feel the back of the shoulders work right here. In 10 seconds, we amp up this movement, extend the bottom leg long, top range of motion only, and three, two, and one, extend bottom leg. Now we'll take it down for two, then up and squeeze. Down for two, up and squeeze. Now if needed, release the bottom knee. But if you're ready to take it up a notch, go ahead, extend bottom knee, bottom leg. Couple more reps, y'all, then we're switching to the other side. Last three, two, one, release it. I'm gonna flip it. <laughs> now we take it to the other side. Let's go. It's up for two, down, slow. Up, two, down, slow.
you may find that one side has better range of motion and one side has not so great range of motion. That's very common. Muscular imbalance throughout the body. This is a great way to combat it, doing these unilateral exercises and really just focusing on it. Increasing range of motion over time. Next up, modified side plank, reach unders, extend top leg in three, two, and one. Bottom knee goes down, we'll take it. Up for two, go down, reach under. Up for two, down, reach under. Extend bottom knee in three, two, bottom leg, top range of motion only. Last three, two, and release. Nice work, come to a tabletop position. Extend both arms, take it to a little puppy pose. Just start to pulse it, make it dynamic. Now this next tricep is humbling. If needed, release the weights at any point during this tricep, it's bilateral. So we're gonna just switch up the exercise selection slightly for the second round. So grab both dumbbells in your hand. Your head will go on the mat. We have a pronated grip, prone shoulder press. So we take it one, two, three, and four. We lift, extend, back, and lower. Lift, extend, back, and lower. I'm gonna remove my mic. Again, this one is quite humbling, so if needed, continue with body weight only. Body weight only will start to burn. Next up, we have Around the World. We'll continue with this pronated grip. Extend the arms in three, two, and one. We lift off. We take it four, three, two, lower. Go up, three, two, and lower. Up, three, two, lower. Up, three, two, lower. Next up, we have Superman. Continue with this pronated grip. And three, two, wow, and one. It's up for two, down for two. Up, two, down, two. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. A little stress before we do it again. This time we take those shoulder presses with a neutral grip. So we take it up, two, three, four. Palms face together. If needed, rest pause during the set. Or again, take this at any point 
body weight only. Next up, we have swimmers. Arms stay extended, a neutral grip. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Extend, now we'll take it. Up for two, down for two. Up, two, down, two. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. Superman's neutral grip in three, two, one. Let's go. It's up, two, down, two. Body weight only if and when needed. Last three, two, and wow, <laughs> one. Go ahead, push off, nice work. This time, left arm, start to pulse it. Take it right arm, start to pulse it. Let's start to make our way to a tabletop position, one dumbbell in each hand. We have ISO bird dog, semi pronated row. Left arm will move, right leg, go ahead, extend it back, square off the hips, lift that right leg off the ground core stays tight now we're taking it in a semi pronated position three two one go down three two one go down now i have one dumbbell but if you find that it's not challenging enough because it is lightweight what i want you to do grab two dumbbells in one hand but if you need to keep that neutral grip i do suggest holding on to a dumbbell to help maintain that neutral grip in your wrist. Next up, we have a neutral grip row to tricep kickback. In three, two, one, let's go. It's row, kick, in, and lower. Row and lift, kick, in, and lower. Row and kick, lift, in, and lower. Next up, just kick it back, three pulses. In three, two, one, let's go. Two, one, lower down. Three, two, one, lower down. Three, two, one, and lower. Three, two, one, and lower. Last three, two, and one. We take it to the other side. Left leg extends, right arm moves, semi pronated grip. It's three, two, one, and lower. Three, two, one, and lower. 
core stays tight to help stabilize the hips. Next up, neutral grip row to kick back. In three, two, one, let's go. We row, kick, in, return. Row and lift, kick, in, return. We'll hold the kickbacks. We pulse for three at the top in three, two, and one. Pulse three, two, one, and lower. Three, two, one, and lower. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Go ahead, big deep inhale on the exhale. Send those hips up and back. Nice work. Start to walk the hands with the dumbbells towards you. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, full forward fold. Roll up one vertebrae at a time and meet me in a wide second position. Go ahead and meet me down low in that sumo squat position. We have a four way lateral raise. In three, two, one, let's go. It's up, in, lower, down. Up, in, lower, down. Up, in, lower, down. Next up, just a lateral raise with the sumo squat. In three, two, one, let's go. It's up and down. Try not to let the shoulders rise towards the ears. So we're trying to really bias the outer portion of your delts. So if we're doing this, we're gonna really get some upper traps. Not a bad thing. Just depends what we want out of this movement. To also bias the medial portion of the delt, Pretend like you're pouring a glass of water out at the top of the movement. Delts are starting to burn. We're not done. Hold low. Three, two, one. We pulse it. Three, two, one, and lower. Three, two, one. One, and lower rest pause if needed. Last three, two, and one. Shake it out. Palms face me, supinate the grip, Lou raises. Let's go. It's up, 
for two and down for two. Got to find the top of that four count or eight count beat. Next up, top of a Lou raise into a chest fly. In three, two, one, let's go. It's out, in, up. Next up, we have a supinated lateral raise in three, two, and one. Down, down, and up. And every moment counts, baby. I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars. Or hang out in hotel bars. Driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars. Under the stars. Last three, two, and one. Nice work, shake it out. We'll hug one arm in, and then hug the other arm in. Roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders forward. Roll them back one more time, because it feels so good. Oh, it meet me back in that sumo squat position. All right, y'all, now we have a curl to a punch. The left side will punch. Your left side. Let's go. It's curl, punch and rotate back to return. Curl, punch and rotate. Internal rotation of the hip. Good. All good lateral raises are next. It's curl, out, out, and lower. Curl, elbows, lengthen, lower. Your arm will press is next. In three, two, and one. Supinated curl, flip the grip. Just 
Nice work. Curl the punch on the other side is next. Let's go. Curl, punch, back to return. Falcon lateral raise is next, neutral grip on the curl. That's the only thing that's changing. Neutral. Curl to press is next. Neutral grip throughout. In three, two, and one. And one, release the dumbbells off into one hand, take it up and over to one side, side body stretch, getting into our lats as well, and take it to the other side. Next up, we do have a unilateral block. I'll be doing the left side first. If you know your left side is weaker, do that side first. But if it's your right side, do right side. If you don't know what side, do whatever side you want, because we're gonna match it. All right, begin with both weights in one hand if possible. Right foot is forward. Left hand has dumbbells. We're taking it in, then out. Neutral grip, pronated grip. Lat focus, and then upper back. So hitting the lats right here, focusing more on that upper to mid portion of the back when we flip the grip out. This place, the sun's about to break. Horse is tight throughout. I'm wide awake, take me away now. Cause I, I won't go down the same old path again now. No, I've been running out of air, so let me catch my breath. Feeling I've making me crazy. Next up, we have a single arm rear belt fly. Left arm stays the working arm. I'm going to release one dumbbell due to my personal strength level. So we take it out and pulse, then lower three pulses and lower three pulses and lower. Now this is really hitting the rear delt or the back of the shoulder. Up, single arm a Y raise. And three, two, and one. Take it up out of angle. So if we were looking at a clock, right around somewhere in between that 10 and 11 o'clock position. This is hitting rear delts as well as your medial delts.
last three, two, and one. Set the foot in. We switch sides. Both dumbbells in the right hand if possible. Now we row out and in. You can do a lot of things with this hand. You don't have to do anything with it. <laughs> you can place it right here for a little bit more stabilization. But again, try not to rotate open. Core stays tight throughout. You can even brace it with an object, a sturdy object around. Up to you. Next up, we have our rear delt flies. Three pulses at the top. I'll be using one dumbbell only. And three, two, and one. Let's go. Three, two, one, and lower. I know it's burning. We end with Y raises. We match what we did on the other side in three, two, and one. Let's go. 30 seconds. Core stays tight. Don't let that lumbar spine. Move, keep it tight. Last three, two, and one. Oh, wow. All right, we're on to our final tricep. Wow, let's start to roll the shoulders back. Big circles. Roll it forward, big circles, keeping it dynamic. We'll do some static stretching after. Roll it back again. Grab your dumbbells, wide sumo squat stance. Meet me at the bottom of your shoulder press. We have a lat pull down to a shoulder press. In three, two, one, let's go. We pull, we go up with the legs go down. Pull, stop, rise it up, go down. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Pull and squeeze, up. Pull and squeeze, then push, pull, push. Next up, we have a press, two front raise, and three, two, and one. We press it out, lower, then return. Push, lower, return. we're coming towards the end of our workout. So fatigue is really gonna start to set in. Rest, pause if needed, don't compromise the form. But as long as your form is intact, fight through it. Fight through that burn, fight through that shake. Shake it out if needed. Bus drivers with a pulse on the legs.
five seconds. Three, two, and shake it out. Wow. This is it, y'all. Shoulder rotation to press. Rotate up, down, lower. Rotate up, down, lower. These three pound dumbbells are starting to feel like 50 pound dumbbells. If needed, rest, pause. Come off beat. I'm finding I'm starting to fatigue. I can't keep up with the beat, that's okay. Let's fight through it. Next up, front race with three pulses at the top. In three, two, and one. Pulse three, two. One, lower four, three, two, one, lower four. We hold at the top and alternate. Let's go. Come on, take it to lateral raises in three, two, and one, up and down. We're burning it out and then we're done. Five seconds, hold at the top and alternate. In three, two, and one, hold at the top, alternate. We pulse in three, two, one. 15 seconds, just pulse. Last five, four, three, two, and one. We're done. Wow, roll it back. Okay, let's take an arm up and over. Ooh, it's hard to bring it up and over. And let's stretch it out. Cross the foot over if that feels good to you. And we're gonna take it to the other side. Big deep inhale up. On the exhale, swan dive forward, flat back, flat back. Now start to round. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, little ragdoll pose. Move the dumbbells out of the way. Bring all swing to a stop. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, full forward fold. Let the head hang a little bit deeper. Bend the knee slightly. Step it back and let those hips just melt. If needed, you can bend. And then start to sway the hips side to side. We're gonna come into a very deep shoulder opener. So bring it all the way down. I'm going to remove my mic. We ease into these stretches. So take the right arm out to the side, kick it over, and just start to gently pulse it back. So take this back leg, turn it into a kickstand, and just pulse. This should feel good. It should not be painful at all. So honor your range of motion. Now we hold in three, two, just hold the pose, not the breath. If you want to intensify the stretch, come out of it. Bend and then go into it again. And yep, that's a little bit more intense. You don't have to do it this way. If it's too much, come out of it, straighten the arm. 
one more deep inhale. On the exhale, come out of it, other side. If you want more stretching after this video, start to pulse it back. Check out the uh, description and I will link some additional stretches below. They're quick, anywhere from 13 minutes, 10 minutes <laughs> to 20 minutes. Some are super focused. There's one on the mid to upper back, lower back. Feels good. Hips. Oh, the hips. Hips is my favorite. All right. Now we hold the pose, but if you intensified it on the other side, do it this side. Again, you may find one size a little bit tighter than the other. Something to work on. We are a never ending. What do I want to say? I'm not lost for words. Do you know what I mean? The oxygen has left my brain. I can't think straight. We're always working on ourselves. It's it's a never ending process is what I'm trying to say. All right, unilateral puppy pose, one arm goes out to the side. It's, it's just one of those weeks, y'all. Just one of those weeks. It's hard for me to form a complete sentence. Can you relate? I don't know. Is it just me? All right, bilateral, and this is what we're ending with. Ooh, feels so good. Bring it up to a seated position, whatever that looks like for you. Let's take one more deep inhale together. Inhale up and exhale. We are done, my friends. As long as you tried your best, that is what matters the most. Thank you so much for working out with me today. I cannot begin to explain. I just told you it's, I, I am having a hard time talking, so <laughs> I apologize. I can't even begin to explain how much it means to me that you work out with me. It's amazing. So if you wouldn't mind, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the love with a friend because I don't advertise this channel at all. It's uh, this channel grows purely through you guys and, and when you share it with a friend and tag me in your post. So I always really greatly appreciate it. Makes my day. And honestly, you should be super proud of yourself. Dust off your shoulders. So like, comment, subscribe, tag me in your posts and stories on IG at Laurie Midkiff. But most importantly, it's the most important part. Have an amazing rest of the day, my friends. You rock.